Hello, it is time for a writer's workshop. This is Miss Alpine, and today we're going to continue talking about informative writing and how to essays. Today we're going to look more at the body paragraph, but we're going to focus on how we can expand the body paragraphs to include more details, support, and descriptions. So we know that a how to essay explains how to do something or how something works. We include steps that are easy to follow. We list any materials that are needed. We're going to use time order words like first, next, then, finally. And of course, we want to include facts, definitions, and details that explain each step. And that's what we're going to focus on mostly today, is how we can use all these facts, definitions, and details to really help support the steps that we're including in the body paragraph of our writing. So informational writers, we know, choose topics they're interested in, organize their writing before they go in to write it, think about their audience, choose the right words for what they're discussing, and of course, include facts that are correct. We started drafting our introduction already, and now we're drafting our body paragraphs. And remember, drafting means that we are going to be putting all of our thoughts that we did in our pre-writing into complete sentences. Your first draft is not your final product. Remember that, it's just the very first draft to get our ideas into complete sentences. And then later, we're gonna revise and edit to make sure that it looks and it sounds really good by the time we're done. But let's focus a little bit more about how we can draft and add ideas into our, our body paragraph. So here's our graphic organizer of the main things that we have to include in our how-to essay. Our introduction, remember right here in the green, is our hook. We're gonna provide background information and of course state the main idea, which is what we're gonna be teaching. And now we're focusing on the body paragraph right here in yellow. And in our body paragraph, remember this is where we're gonna have all of our information about the steps of how to do the process we're gonna be discussing in our essay. And for each part of our body, we wanna include some type of transition, explain the step, and then give some more support with explanations and ex details and facts and tips. So we want to do that for step one, step two, and step three. So we've seen our expert example, and remember this, everything in yellow is our body paragraph. But the author here, Mitchell, did not start with this beautiful paragraph already done. First, remember, he went in and he did his circle map. Then he said, well, I know I want to discuss how to make Play-Doh at home. So he listed all the materials that are going to be needed, jotted down the basic steps of how to make Play-Doh, and then included some fun tips and facts that he wanted to include somewhere within his body paragraph. And so the first thing he did was said, well, I know I can start my body paragraph by just putting the, the steps into complete sentences. And so this is what we looked at before where we saw he had his basic steps. And he said, you know, how to, how to make Play-Doh is, first, you get all the materials together. Next, you need to stir the ingredients in a pot and heat it on a stove. And then last, you will need to remove the dough from the pot and knead it until it's soft enough to put in a container and store. And I said, you know what, this is pretty good. I mean, basically, he could stop here if he was a second grader. But he's not a second grader, he's a third grader. And so I said, well, let's take a look. Do you really have everything you need in your body paragraph? He explained step one, step two, and step three. But did he stop and really ask himself, can I give more explanation? And he didn't. So we went back and he says, well, Miss Alpine, I don't know. How do I add more details? I'm stuck. And so I showed him this. And I want you to think about a stop sign green we're already on the go we know our topic and we set our topic that's our green light go the yellow is when we actually list our steps and so we're going to slow it down and explain the steps but now i want you to think let's let's slow it down and reread the steps you already put in your body paragraph and then we're going to stop and we're going to ask ourselves what other information is important for each step of the body paragraph? So then we can add, and here are the things I think that would be really good to add. 
you would want to add at least one to two more details for each step in the body paragraph. And things that you can add are descriptions. So if you describe that step with a little bit more detail, that's, that can really help support the step itself and what to do. Maybe you're going to give an example of what you can do in that step. So if you explained the step, you can then say, for example, when I do this, and you can explain exactly what you do. You can provide an interesting fact about that step, or you can even give your own personal tips of what to do for each of the steps. So the author, Mitchell, went back and he said, okay, I know I have my three basic steps. And he knew he wanted to expand with some descriptions, examples, facts, and tips. So he went back to his map. And he said, well, let's look at some of the tips and facts that you already had in there. He said, well, I know I wanted to add the food coloring last. Um, you should probably get your parents' help for the stove. Um, you want to keep stirring the ingredients so they don't get too hot. And we want to cool down the Play-Doh before playing. And, oh, we don't want to let it dry out. So I said, okay, let's think about where we want to put each of these, these facts or tips to give additional support to expand each of the steps. And then this is what he came up with. So now he says to make Play-Doh at home, you first need to get all your materials together. And then he listed and gave more description of all the materials that he needs. So this is super important. If you just said get your materials, we wouldn't know what materials you're talking about. So this is where we're gonna add those descript descriptive details about exactly what materials we need. So he says you need a cup of flour, a cup of warm water, two, two teaspoons of cream of tartar. You also need a teaspoon of oil and a quart of salt and some food coloring. So now we have everything listed in sentence form of all the materials that we need. So that is gonna be our description of all the materials. Step two, next you will need to stir all the ingredients into the pot and heat it on the stove. And here he gave that little tip. The last ingredient to go in the pot should be the food coloring. And he also gives some extra tips. During this part, you may need to ask a grown up for help. Put the pot on the stove, making sure it keeps stirring it so it doesn't burn. Now, those are really good tips. And so this helps the reader better understand if they were really going to do it, what should they do? And then the step three, last, you need to remove the dough from the pot and knead it until it's soft enough to put in a container to cool off and store. And then they give some additional tips and maybe even like a little fact. They said, let it cool in the container before you play with it. That's a tip. And be sure to always put it away again so it doesn't dry out. Well, not only is that a tip, but it's a fact that it will dry out if you don't put it in that container, okay? So this author was able to take this, these basic three steps and expand each of the steps with some more supporting details, descriptions, examples, facts, and tips. So when he went to actually go write the final paragraph, he took everything from his graphic organizer and then put it into one complete paragraph as we see here. So for your writing assignment today, you're gonna to be doing something similar, but you are gonna be adding to, adding um, and expanding on this body paragraph. Now this is a sample body paragraph of how to brush your teeth. I know that you've already put um, done a circle map about how to brush your teeth and you put in the basic three steps in your own sentences. But these were just three sentences that I was thinking about when I thought, well, what are the three steps that I use when I brush my teeth? And I said, first, you need to get all your materials ready. Second, place the toothpaste on your brush and start to brush your teeth. And then third, rinse, or last, you wanna rinse out your mouth. Okay, well, um, I think we can add more details here. This is pretty, this is a pretty wimpy body to me, according to me, and I, I wrote, I'm the one who wrote this, so I need your help. In complete sentences, I need you to expand on each of these steps by adding at least one supporting detail. So think about this, look at step one. 
um, you first need to get all your materials ready. Well, did I even tell you what materials you need to brush your teeth? I sure didn't. So you may need to add some more description here and maybe type a sentence about what materials will be needed to brush your teeth. You can also give an extra like an example of type of toothpaste you use, or maybe you prefer an electric toothpaste over or toothbrush over a regular toothbrush. So that might be like an example or a tip that you might give. Step two, it says, next, place the toothpaste on your brush and start to brush your teeth. Okay, well, that's pretty good, but what do they mean by start to brush your teeth? Maybe you need to tell me, you know, again, how should I brush my teeth? So to give more description of like, should I brush up and down? Should I start with my back teeth to the front? Should I go in a circular motion? Or um, maybe you could even tell me um, for how long I should brush my teeth. So think about what details you can use to expand on step two. And then finally, step three, you need to rinse out your mouth. Um, okay, what do I rinse my mouth out with? Do I rinse it with water? Should I use mouthwash? How long should I rinse it? What should I do with my um, the rest of my toothbrush and my toothpaste when I'm done? Well, maybe you can help by adding another sentence here. Okay, so again, your writing assignment is for each one of these steps, you want to give me at least one, maybe even two more sentences that expands on each step. Add some more detailed descriptions, maybe give an example, give some facts if you know interesting facts about teeth and toothbrushes and toothpaste, or of course, give any tips that you like to do while you're brushing your teeth. You're going to do that for step one expand, step two, expand, step three, expand, and then you're done. All right, let's go be writers.